What's up guys, it's Chris Heria. Today you guys are gonna be following along my push day. We're gonna be training chest, triceps, and shoulders. All at the same time, training all three of those muscles within every exercise. And because most people don't have access to the gym, I'm gonna show you how to do this without any weight or equipment at all. And if you think you don't need to be doing this because you have access to weights and a gym, you should still be incorporating this type of training into your workout regimen because these kind of exercises and this type of training engages your muscles differently and gives you benefits that weights don't. And even those benefits can transfer into the weight room. Today we'll be doing compound exercises using our own body weight and these exercises require and develop more muscle coordination and connection and because we're activating more muscles in our body we're burning more calories and for today's workout we're actually going to take two compound movements and put them together to maximize our time under tension and to make sure that we're thoroughly engaging all three of those muscles chest triceps and shoulders making this workout super effective in the shortest amount of time possible so if you guys are ready to get started the first two compound movements we're going to put together are push-ups and wall walks we're going to do three wall walks and for every wall walk we're going to do five push-ups let's get started All right, so there were the push-up wall walks, and that one was pretty tough, but I always like to start my workout routines off strong. Now remember, with every exercise, we're gonna be engaging our chest, triceps, and shoulders, but each part of the exercise is gonna be emphasizing a little bit more on one particular muscle group. For example, when you're doing the push-ups, you're emphasizing more on your chest and your triceps, and when you're walking up into your wall walks, you're emphasizing more on your shoulders. Now the next exercise we're gonna get into, we're gonna be combining two movements, typewriter push-ups and archer push-ups into one. Typewriter archer push-ups, let's get right into them. We're gonna go for 10 each. So start all the way at the bottom, one arm straight, then come to one side, push up, come back down. Both sides is one. Now that one is definitely a killer. Now that particular exercise really emphasizes on your chest throughout every part of the exercise, but even your shoulders and your triceps as well because you have a constant contraction because you're staying low, transitioning from one rep to the other. And as you move side to side, you're really gonna feel your shoulders fire up. So for the next exercise, we're gonna be putting bench dips and reverse plank together. Let's go for 15. Let's go deep to a bench dip. Come all the way up and lean back all the way as hard as you can onto your rear delts. Come back down.
last one, really push back on your triceps and your delts. Hold. Breathe. All right, now that one you should really feel your shoulders fired up, specifically in your rear delts and even in your triceps. As we come down into the bench dip, we're really emphasizing on our lower chest and our triceps. Then as we begin to come up and reach full extension, we're shifting all our weight back onto our triceps and our shoulders to complete the engagement of all three muscles, your chest, triceps, and shoulders. And you notice that every single exercise, we're working different parts of our chest, triceps, and shoulders because these muscle groups have many muscles within them. You need to be making sure that you're training and growing all the separate muscles within each muscle group to really see results get stronger and make progress now this next exercise we're gonna get into we're gonna be doing a pseudo push-up and then transitioning straight into a pike hold let's go for 15 now remember when we're doing pseudo push-ups our hands need to be by our waistline and our body needs to be straight so we're gonna come down flat then when we push up we're gonna push up with our hips going straight up come back straight let's go for 15 So there we have the pseudo push-ups with the pike hold. And if handstand push-ups or 90 degree handstand push-ups is something that you want or something that you're training for, definitely try this move out. It's gonna help you get used to and develop the strength for the transition and train your chest, shoulders, and triceps simultaneously the same way you would do when you're doing the press in your handstand push-up or 90 degree. Now we're getting into the last exercise. We're gonna be combining skull crushers with diamond elevated push-ups. We're gonna go for 15 and I want you guys to give it everything you got for these last reps. Let's go for it. So we're gonna have our elbows straight down, pass our head, come back up, walk a little bit up, complete the diamond push-up. So there we have the diamond push-ups with the skull crushers. That's gonna complete round one of this workout routine. If you can get through round one, that's a great start. Over time, if you can work your way up to four rounds of this, then that's a solid workout routine. So thank you for following along with me today. Hopefully you've learned that you don't need a gym or equipment to get in shape. And even if you already train at the gym, this is still something that you wanna incorporate into your workout routine. And it comes with benefits and develops strengths that weights alone won't give you. In fact, these new strengths and skills will even transfer over into the weight room. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. 
watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Share this video with a friend that's trying to get in shape from home and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within 30 minutes of any video, you always get a chance to win some free Harriet apparel. And to get this workout on your phone and full access to all my workouts and personal workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind like burning fat or building muscle, then download my Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store and join the millions of other people all around the world getting in the best shape of their life right now, Chris Harrier style. And lastly, I'm so excited to announce tonight at midnight, October 18th, my song Fire is gonna drop across all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, and even TikTok. Make sure you guys check it out tonight. I appreciate you guys so much for always listening and always supporting. And once Fire drops tonight at midnight, as soon as I reach 100K plays on my personal SoundCloud, I'm gonna release the full album of all the songs that you guys have been waiting for. All the songs that you've heard on our YouTube channels as well as some tracks that you haven't heard yet. And when that happens, I'll be announcing it on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me on IG. And on my Instagram, with every post, I always do some type of giveaway, so if you guys want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to hear my new song, Fire, tonight. I want you guys to blow it up and put it on repeat as soon as it drops. Thanks so much in advance, and I will see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA, Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out. Ain't gotta prove nothing, you know that I'm about us. Ain't gotta do nothing, cause I do it for us. Ain't gotta do nothing, cause I do it for us. Anything you want, I'll have it waiting for us. And even when you got no makeup on, you're gorgeous. You should know nothing could ever come before us. You know he, you could be my main girl. For a week, then I'm on a plane, girl. But I can do it if you only want the fame, girl. I see that shit go to her head, she ain't the same, girl. Smash that like button, guys.